let's talk about our favorite Arizona destinations. We're going to tell you our personal favorites. Will we agree or not? More on that later. By no means is this list complete, and it's not in any specific ranking order. Monument Valley's iconic images are featured in many movies. Over the years, we have driven through Monument Valley on our trips back and forth from Colorado to Arizona to visit family. You never get tired of those views. Late afternoon to sunset provides the most spectacular silhouettes. My favorite trip was when we packed up everything, retired, and moved to Arizona. And how about this one? Just outside of the town of Page, Arizona, you're gonna find Horseshoe Bend. Hi. The Colorado River makes a dramatic 270 degree U-turn, cutting in the sands and making the most amazing views you have ever seen. If you're like me and you're not keen on heights, there's a railing and a structured viewpoint. Or you could always just hang back and let your spouse do all the shooting. One of the most photographed slot canyons in the U.S. and the main attraction of Lake Powell is Tribal Park Antelope Canyon. Ever since I attended college in Arizona, I really wanted to visit Antelope Canyon. Forty years later, I finally made that wish come true. Between the two of us, we captured over 300 images. Lower Antelope Canyon is everything you'd want to see and more. It will be forever etched in our memories. As we climbed out of this mystical canyon and looked back, it was hard to believe we were walking in an area that was probably eight to 600 million years old. Two Guns, Arizona sits on the original Route 66 and is tagged death by highway. A bitter land battle ensued between white settlers, the Cundiffs and full-blooded Apache Henry Two Guns Miller. It remained a tourist shop until I-40 passed by and brought the town of Two Guns to a quick death by highway.
buried in these ruins are stories of Billy the Kid's hideout, a deadly Apache and Navajo territorial war, as well as a once thriving trading post, a restaurant, and even mountain lion zoo. Continuing another 20 minutes along I-40, you'll come to a turn from Meteor Crater, officially named Behringer Crater for Daniel That's Behringer. why we're back to 550 to 570 feet today. Our crater is a mile and a half wide and two and a half miles all the way around. Another fun fact about our crater is we have two intersecting fault lines that make a perfect X from corner to corner of our crater. We like to joke around and say, the meteorite was just on target. X marks the spot. Being at 150 feet in length, that's the end, in, end to end of our museum building here, and 150 feet in diameter. That's half the size of our RV parking lot outside today. Good thing it was on target, guys, right? I mean, it barely missed us. <laughs> If you have an hour, you can drive through the park and make a few stops at the overlooks. If you have a few hours, you can drive through the park, get out with the four-legged family members, and look at the overlooks and take some short trails. Half a day? Meet some new friends. I love love for travel. <laughs> Woo! While you're in this corner of the map, you have to make a quick detour to Winslow, Arizona and the corner made famous by the Eagles. Just outside of Payson, Arizona is Tonto Natural Bridge Park. I first went there in my 20s and it was pretty much a local secret we had to hike down the side, not the side that's structured right now, but the opposite side that no one can access. We went down that grabbing onto rocks, ropes, and cables to get down to view the bridge. And it was a lot of work, but when you got down there, it was jaw dropping. London Bridge. You know, there's a lot of history about this. Hang on a second. I need to make one. Yes. Lake Havasu and its London Bridge was another place I always wanted to see. Parts of the London Bridge date back to 1831. It was transported from London, England and installed at its present location in 1971. A fun fact about the bridge is that it was assembled on dry land in the middle of a field. Only later was a canal dredged under the bridge making a waterway for boaters. 
We happen to be going through it during the holidays, so why not take a couple days to play? With the kids should we be but in the grandest national park of all Grand Canyon National Park. Finally, but not least, the most visited place and one of the seven natural wonders of the world is the Grand Canyon National Park. We went to the South Rim. We've never been to the North Rim, but have it on our must-do list. Last count in 2018, annual visitors were over six million. Okay, it's time for us to reveal our number one favorite from this video that we have posted. Mike, come on in. He can go first. My number one favorite for all the places that we went to in Arizona was Antelope Canyon. The views through that, the curves, everything was just amazing. How about me? Would you like to know mine? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> Deb, how about you? Oh, mine? Hmm. Antelope Canyon. It's a magical place that compares to nothing else. So I guess that's number one, Antelope Canyon for me. Number one, Antelope Canyon for me. All right, safe travels until we see you again. Subscribe, ring the bell. Do a little dance. <laughs> okay, back to Colorado River. The color. <laughs> What are you going to do?